it turns out this significantly improves the model's capability of using those tools. As Jimmy mentioned, uh, we actually saw in a lot of compute into this training, but as you start putting in more and more training compute, it started to gradually become smarter and smarter and eventually solved a quarter of the HLE problems. And this is without any tools. The next thing we did was to adding a tools capabilities to the model. But here, we actually make it more native in the sense that we put the tools into training. Here, we actually put the tools into training. And it turns out this significantly improves the model's capability of using those tools. To be clear, like th these are still, I'd say, fairly. This is still fairly primitive tool use. If you compare it to, say, the tools that are used at Tesla or SpaceX, uh, where you're using, um, you know, uh, finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics, and and you're you're able to run, uh, or say, like Tesla does, like crash simulations, where the simulations are so close to reality that if the test doesn't match the simulation, you assume that the test article is wrong. That's how good the simulations are. So Grok is not currently using uh, any of the tools, the, the really powerful tools that a company would use, but, but that is something that we will provide it with later this year. So we'll have the tools that a, that a company has um, and, and have very accurate physics simulators.